Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ween Dog TV. It is me, your host, Ween Dog. Um, I basically just wanted to make this video because some, some, something very strange has been going on recently in my neighborhood. And you guys know me. You've seen some of my videos. You know, I, I deeply love like paranormal stuff, like ghosts, Bigfoot, demons. You know, just silly stuff like that. I have a Ouija board right here right behind me, you know. That's the kind of person I am. I'm deep into that stuff. I love ghost shows. I love horror movies. But recently, something has been going on in my neighborhood. I don't know how to explain it. I've done research. Nothing has really came up. But basically, the other night, I was outside walking my dog. It was probably around 11 p.m. or so. And I'm walking on the sidewalk, you know. And I look across the street. And I see some, like, some out of place on the grass so I go walk up I go across the street I walk up to it I look down and I see that on the grass is a goddamn chicken with its head cut off like a full chicken with its feathers still in it had like these bright yellow feet these talons it's like oh my god it was disgusting I had no idea why I was there. And then I, and the, to the left of the chicken on the ground, I looked to the left, and there's like like a Ralph's grocery bag there, like just sitting there. I noticed something hanging out of the bag. So I like, kicked the bag open. I kicked it, and I swear to God, this is disgusting. Out of the bag fell like a bunch of like dead birds, almost like four birds, all of which had their heads completely cut off. And the, the, one of the weird things to, to mention is that all of these birds were all different species of birds. Like there was a crow, there was like a pigeon, there was like a white dove, there was like a parakeet. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Why is there a bag of dead headless birds just sitting here in my neighborhood? So, you know, I went back home that night. I, I did something. What the hell is going on? And the first thing that came to my mind was... Someone is trying to put a curse on this neighborhood or a curse on someone that lives in this neighborhood And I don't I don't really know who but but I got an idea. So basically There is this old woman that lives in my neighborhood and She lives probably about a block away from where I found the headless birds, okay? And I've only seen this woman like three times because she never comes out. And if she does comes out, if she does come out, it's always like in the middle of the night. Like I, I swear I'll be, I'll be home late one night from a comedy club or from school and I'll be walking Lucy Goose, my dog right here. I'll be walking her and then I'll see the old lady just walking down the sidewalk like in a nightgown, just slow, just walking down like a zombie. And another weird thing about this old lady is that right in front of her apartment complex, she every day, every day, she goes out. I, I don't know what time she does this because I've never actually seen her do it, but it's, I, it has to be her. Every day, she puts like this massive pile of bird seed, like in a circle, a massive pile of bird seed on the grass in front of her apartment. And you know, some days it's like, it's just like crumpled up bread, like breadcrumbs. Other days it's bird seed. Other days it's like just just weird stuff. I don't even know what the hell it is. It's like orange, like like uh, sweet potatoes or something. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I've been trying to put two and two together. You know, like all right, decapitated birds, woman who puts bird seed outside of her house on the grass every single day. I'm like, wait, is this woman? Is she is she trying to like to, to bait and trap these birds so she can cut their heads off for her voodoo rituals? To be honest, I have no idea, but tonight I'm going to go out after jujitsu. When I get home from jujitsu, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do an investigation. I'm going to try to show you guys all the spots that I just talked about. I'm going to show you where I found the decapitated birds. I'm going to show you the, uh, the little seeds that she puts on the ground. I'm going to try to get some good video of the seeds or whatever she has out there today. And basically that's it. Maybe we'll, we'll hide in a bush, wait for her to come out and we'll, we'll film her and, you know, we'll, we'll jump on her and, you know, call the police or, you know, call the SWAT. Just kidding. But we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll go and do an investigation. All right. Stay tuned for that.
All right, what's up, guys? So I found this article on the internet titled Box with Decapitated Pigeons and Chickens Found in Almeida. And it's a very short article. It's about like th three, four paragraphs long. But um, the description of the event is very similar to what um, occurred to me. So let's read a little uh, really quick. Almeida, a security guard patrolling the city's form former naval air station, made a grisly discovery on Tuesday. A box containing dead pigeons and chickens with their heads removed. The guard contacted police about... 9.40 a.m. after finding the box on Lexington Avenue at the former base, now known as Ahmed. First of all, why are you going to call the police, dude? It's not even a big deal. It's just chickens with their head cut off. You're just, it's, someone's trying to put a curse on you. It's not a big deal. You don't have to get the police involved. But, yeah, that's, <coughs> that's pretty much um, similar to my situation. It's interesting seeing someone that... Uh, or seeing an event where this happened somewhere else in the world. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research, see if I can find anything related to this, any uh, other situations that have a um, similar occurrence, chickens with their head cut off, uh, pigeons with their head cut off. Um, so let me, let, me, let me just dive into this really quick. All right, guys, so I found this other article on the Daily Mail, and basically what it talks about is there's a large number of decapitated roosters and pigeons being dumped in the Las Vegas streets. And they even interviewed this uh, this dude whose name is Reese's Pieces or something. His name is Reese's Reese. He's an African priest or something. And he's basically confirms that this is a common practice in voodoo uh, when you're trying to cleanse a spirit, I guess. And he says that typically what you would do, you'd cut the head off the animal and you'd, you'd pour the blood all over your body and get freaky. Something like that. And um, there's a dude who was interviewed by the Daily Mail. And he, he said pretty much what I said, that when he looked at the roosters, they looked like they were freshly decapitated. They looked like regular roosters, but just with no heads. I don't know, guys. I'm going to go out there right now. It's it's getting late. It's almost it's almost 12, and um, I'm going to go do some, some in investigating. Stay tuned. All right, what's up, everyone? I'm out here late at night walking my dog, and um, it's my neighborhood. Let's go loose. So basically, where this lady lives is over here on the corner. Right, we're gonna walk over there right now. And a um, pretty interesting thing happened over here the other week. This, uh, there's a house over here actually burnt down. So I'm, I'm walking, and now it's like it's getting pitch black. And there's like a jack in the box bag on the floor. And there's someone driving behind me, and there's a bunch of, bunch of strange sounds coming from over here. But we're gonna go, and hey guys, alright. We're here. So basically, I'm gonna come back in the morning also to get a to get more clear footage. But right where that car is, straight ahead, that's where the the voodoo or suspected voodoo um, woman lives. And right there in the grass, we're gonna walk over there really quick. Um, that's where she puts the the seeds. I don't think we're gonna be able to see them right now. I just wanted to come out and. Stake out the area with my dog. As long as I have my guard dog here, we're all good. But I'm gonna be quiet because I don't wanna I don't wanna just disturb anyone. Alright, so here we go. It's right here. Nothing. Nothing. Oh here it is right here. Yeah, I can't see nothing. I can't see anything. anything but those right here right here found them. damn chickens you see my shadow right where my head is on my shadow right there that's why I found them freaking creepy dude what do you think Lucy wanna go back inside wanna go eat wanna go eat eat <laughs> oh look at that all right let's go eat Lucy. let's go eat What's up, guys? So I just got back from walking Lucy. Um, 
I got some footage. I don't want to stay out there uh, too long in broad daylight. Cause I feel I feel like such an idiot walking around holding a GoPro up, uh, filming and. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what the what the area looked like during the day. And last night it was super dark, couldn't really see anything when I got the footage. And I showed a shot of the grass where the this suspected person um, would place like the bird seeds, the breadcrumbs, all this stuff. And last night there wasn't really anything there. But you can still sort of see like the big outline on the grass like the indention like you know when something's like been on grass or like on a carpet for a while and you move it and there's like this big indention on the on the ground that's it's basically that's what it looks like um so i went back this morning i just got back and i looked again and now there are breadcrumbs in that spot but there's not there wasn't too much it was just like like a couple slices of bread uh were ripped up and just thrown on the ground and remember, let me remind you, this happens every single day and it has been happening every single day ever since I've moved here, like three, three and a half years ago. Two, I don't even know how long I've been here. Um, but if you look in this video, which I will include right here, you can see that there's like still like a big circle of bird seeds around the breadcrumbs. You know, it's not a big deal. You know, it's just bird seed, whatever. Maybe she just she just wants to feed the birds. Maybe whoever it is. I don't. I I still don't know 100% who it is. But this is the only uh, logical explanation that I can come up with. Um, but the thing is, I've never seen birds or squirrels or anything go up and eat the food. It just they just randomly disappear. And whoever does this, they restock it every single day. And it, they, after my research from this past couple of days, I've concluded that whoever is doing this has to be doing it early, early in the morning. So maybe in the future, I'll, I'll, I'll do a stakeout. You know, I, it's kind of creepy. I don't like doing this stuff. I don't like spying on people. I feel like it's an invasion of privacy. I'm sorry for doing this, but I just got to get down to this. You know, my journalistic side of me is, is I have to figure out who's who's trying to put this curse on me or my neighborhood. But more importantly, me. So I'll, I'll maybe in the future, I'll, I'll sit in my car outside with the binoculars and I'll, I'll maybe I'll put on a ghillie suit and hide in a bush or something and wait for someone to come out. And I'll pop out right when they when they put the breadcrumbs or the bird seed and I'll. I'll get to the bottom of it, all right? But as of right now, I have no idea what's going on. If you guys uh, have any suggestions, comments, let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe you have an abuela who is, sort of did the same thing. Maybe you know somebody who does the same thing. Maybe, maybe you know that it's par probably Santeria, probably a, a voodoo curse, trying to cleanse the spirits of the neighborhood. If you know anything, if you know any links to any articles that will help me get to the bottom of this, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, subscribe to Ween Dog TV. i got some really cool paranormal investigations coming out. I'm going to be going to the abandoned Griffith Park Zoo. It's a, it's a super creepy zoo that's abandoned. It is in Griffith Park over by where we live in Los Angeles. I'm also going to be going to the Pasadena uh, Suicide Bridge. So, you know, who knows what I'll see there. Maybe I'll catch some people jumping off, some, some phantoms jumping off the bridge. Um... Who knows? I don't know what to expect. It's going to be creepy. It's going to be awesome. Subscribe to Ween Dog TV right now, please. It, and have a good day. All right? Thank you.